you guys continue on and parts of the city seem to just blend together as you guys are moving. Um, there's really no end in sight. Um, but eventually you guys do uh, make your way towards the Temple of Laetiel. Um, you guys can hear from a couple blocks away, even over the sound of rain pouring just down overhead, um, even over the sound of the lightning and the thunder, um, you guys can hear from a couple blocks away a drum line. You guys hear these these um, deep uh, uh, beats of the drum as you guys move towards the temple, and it gets louder and louder and louder. And as you get there, it seems like a just a full-on party. Um, you see people dancing, uh, people out in the rain dancing and moving around and having fun and singing with each other um, as you approach this temple. What would you guys like to do? This is very different than your temple, Kalik. Is this a temple? Yes, uh, believe it or not, it is. Here? Yeah. They're dancing? Yeah. The new gods are uh, full of surprises. Huh. Tell you that. This does not feel like it fits in this city. Just go with it. That's my advice. <laughs> right. um, I'm keeping my eyes peeled for um, a young tiefling. Okay. Um, I'm going to have you make a perception check at disadvantage with the just insane amount of people packed into this space. Oh, um, you, that's so good. <laughs> you aren't even inside the building yet. And you're already having to push past people to even get to the entrance. This perception? Yes. 24. 24. Nice. At disadvantage. Um, nice. That is awesome. You see um, you see four different tieflings. Both of them in different dress. There doesn't seem to be any unifying uniform here. Right. Um, you see four of them. Are they all, like, in robes of the, like, attired as, like, people that work for the temple? You don't see, like, everyone is, everyone is um, wearing what appears to be casual clothes. There doesn't even it. seem to be any uniform for the people who work at the okay. temple. Okay, so four tieflings. Any of them, how many of them are ladies? Um, two of them. Two of them, Two Great. of them appear to be now ladies. Now we're down to two. <laughs> um, are they both roughly the same age? Um, they are both, yes, they're both, uh, look to be, like, late teens, early 20s. Okay. Um, Kelly, Kelly. Yeah. Okay, I see two tieflings. Do you see, do you see, do you see that one? And then, and then over there, that one? Uh, yeah, okay. I, yeah. I think so. One of them is probably, probably Zeta, unless Zeta's inside somewhere. Should, we can split up and just ask each of them. All right, uh, you take the one over there, and I'll see if I can't uh -huh. uh, make my way. And I, I'm already starting to separate from Oma as the, the crowd is moving us. I'll go to that one over there. And I'm going to look at Flint. Flint, keep, keep Shreya under control. You guys uh, walk up to... Uh, Kellick, you walk up to this tiefling woman first. Um, she is a... Uh, her skin has a green pigmentation, but her hair um, that goes back into a long ponytail is like this stark white um, as you approach her. Um, is she dancing? She is dancing, yeah. Okay. Uh, I will attempt to dance with her. Um, I don't know if she's doing a jig or whatnot, but I'm going to sort of <laughs> shimmy my way over <laughs> across okay. the dance floor. <laughs> All right. Um, and she, she sees you come in and then she kind of locks eyes with you and she sort of changes her dance to kind of mimic your sort of somewhat <laughs> awkward uh, dance. My wings are kind of like goofily like trying to keep beat uh, as I can't really fit <laughs> in this crowd. Hello there. Hi. Blessed day we're having. I... I'd say so. Is this uh... It's been a while since we've been in town. It's been, you know, dreary. It's nice to see that despite conditions here, we're still able to have a good time. I'm sorry, what was that? That's nice that we're still able to have a good time despite the rain, you know. 
Yeah! And you can tell she probably didn't understand what you just said. <laughs> I just nodded her. Right! Um... My name's Kenick! Yeah, you too! No! I, I, my name! It's, it's Kenick! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Sarla, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Sarla. Uh, I like your, uh, I like the way you've done your ponytail there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I like, uh, I like the way you did your feathers. <laughs> this just happens naturally. It's not even, uh, <laughs> I just woke up like this. <laughs> Blessings come in all, in all shapes. Do they ever? And I will attempt to just just enjoy dancing with Sarla. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Oma, you make your way up to uh, the other tiefling. Um, she is. Uh, she has a a like this this dark purple pigmentation to her, um, and her hair is um, like almost impossibly black and cut into like this short little bob. And it's totally like flailing around as she's dancing. Um, I attempt to like wiggle my hips, but it just doesn't really work in in this body. Like it's just too <laughs> stiff. Um, I just can't get the beat right. So I just like stop trying, and I just like bounce as I walk <laughs> forward with the beat. Um, and I will make my way over to this purple tiefling. Okay. She continues dancing. Yeah. She I, doesn't even seem to, uh, to notice you approach. Um, I don't know what to say to her, so. <clears throat> Hi there. Hi. Fun time. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it is. You don't seem to be having very much fun, though. I don't know how to dance. It's very With clear this. to me. It's very clear to me. Yeah. As Maybe I keep if bouncing. I just can I just and she sort of reaches her hands out, not quite touching you yet, but like trying to adjust you to make you, you know, into a, in, into a certain position. Uh huh. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. And she sort of moves your shoulders back and forth to the rhythm. <laughs> and she, once you're doing that, once you get that, she she starts, she takes your hands and she just sort of just does like a pull and push back and forth. <laughs> there you go. Now you got it. Thanks. Um, I'm Kellick. Oh, very nice to meet you, Kellick. I'm Nolly. Hi, Nolly. <laughs> and I just like, uh, and I look over to where Kellick is, hoping that maybe he found her. Do I see his face at all? Uh, Mick, uh, he's tall. Yeah, he's tall. Yeah, you can you can see him. Um, doesn't look like he's found the right anyone, person. Okay, just looks like he's dancing. So I'm gonna keep dancing. And I'm gonna say, um, I'm here. I was pointed in this direction looking for a, um an acquaintance of mine. Kind of like a friend of a friend, you know? Um, her name's Zeta. Do you know where I can find her? I'm so I don't know where where you can find her. Um I, I've never heard that name before. Do you work for this temple? I don't, um, <laughs> but uh, there's, uh up there, I think if I could just yeah, 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 right over there. Can you see through the clearing? Yeah, there's there's a dwarven woman up there. Her name is Nessus. Um, she she works here. She I she probably knows everyone who works here. That's so helpful. Thank you so much. It was it was so much fun dancing with you and th and thanks for you know teaching me the moves. It was fun. Hey, do you want to grab a drink sometime? <laughs> um, sure. But you know I'm not really feeling myself right now. So maybe if may, give me like a day and then and then I'll come back and find you. Although okay. my heart is really tied to to this this potion keeping woman, and so I just don't know if I'm ready for for anything new. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the middle of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, she broke my heart. So um. Yeah. Give me like a day. Okay. 
<laughs> and I just like shake my head and like walk away <laughs> towards where she pointed Nessus out and try to like scoop up <laughs> Kelly on my way. All right. <laughs>